okay y'all i'm back i told y'all i had to make them run and i'll be back so now i'm gonna finish frying off these pork chops i took that foil off my mac and cheese i let it bake on 200 while it was gone so i turned it back up to 375 y'all and it's popping it's popping where y'all at tilt bike i know y'all get these bells baby Tilt back, y'all. Part two, finishing up this Sunday meal. What it do, y'all? What it do? Yes, baby, I'm back. Told y'all I had to make pause for the cause to go handle something. But I'm back in this kitchen to finish my meal. Yes. Hey, from Barbados, what's going on? What's happening? What's happening? Ow. My day is going well. I'm back here with this part two. I had started my meal. I'm cooking some other pork chops, yellow rice, macaroni and cheese, blueberry bread, and cabbage, y'all. I forgot my yams, but... I started this video earlier, so now I'm back. I told y'all I had to take to having something important and come back with y'all, and I'm here, baby. Yes. Oh, yeah, and I told y'all I made my oh, These are the first batch of pork chops I fried off. We're going to smother them down, y'all. Remember, I had that cabbage going, baby. That good old, good old cabbage with that hog dog cut up in there, baby. I got mac and cheese in the oven. I'm gonna put me on some yellow rice. Shout out, Jean. Shout out, baby. What I need for this? Two and a half. Let me get my water from the rice, y'all. So yeah, I had to pause for the calls, have a something, I'm bite with y'all. I'm just putting on some water for some yellow rice, y'all. Get that back up. I know I got a lot of starches, but this is how we eat down south. Some yellow rice, macaroni. I think I'm going to whip up some potato salad, too, since I ain't got my yams. And I'm just not going to ride up to the corner store and get no canned yams. I ain't with that, though. No. So, I might do some potato salad real quick. I don't know. What y'all think? Yeah, I be getting my cooking on. And now, yes, I do. Hey, Queen Lee. Hey, Goddess Candy. How y'all doing, baby, baby? Joe, you want to put baby, because you know what it's going to say. Shut your mouth! Ooh! <laughs> Let me get what I'm doing. Y'all can't hear me? I know my volume. My volume should be up. My volume up. Who else can't hear me? Okay, when I guess I got to cut up a few potatoes and make that little small bowl of potato salad since she tell me to. Yeah, part one, I got to see if I put it up. I, ain't, I don't think I downloaded it yet, but I got you. It's coming. I hope I ain't messed it up, y'all. Because I exited out, and I don't know. I hope it's still there for me to put it on for y'all. Y'all know what? The water will boil if I cut the uh, stove on right. <laughs> yes. Check my mac and cheese, y'all. Oh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. This mac and cheese looking good, good, good. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. That's that mac and cheese, baby. Boom! Oh, yeah, that's going to be great. That's going to be great right there. Yes. 
Yes, we right did that. I need my oven on for my bread. Something bread. Been frying these pork chops so I can get that gravy ready, baby. I'm gonna cover this mac and cheese up so that's ready. Get my pan over here for my bread. Woo! Flip these pork chops. That going boom. Yum, yum, yes. Yum, yum, yes. Got my rice on. Let me mix up my bread, y'all. And I told y'all with this right here, you can never go wrong with this blueberry bread right here. And I just put it in the pan and cut it like cornbread. But I'm going to add some sugar and some cinnamon. Talking about something going to enhance this and make it great, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that part. Got my cinnamon, got me some sugar. Thank Lakeisha, thank I look a good girl. Yeah, baby. Um, da -da 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 -da. I ain't need a bowl. Right with y'all, let me wash this bowl out and mix up my bread. Okay. All right, them pork chops sounding. I don't think here, y'all hear me. Yes, where my non six for What the? Okay. And I got two pints of these muffin bread. And you just put a cup of milk for two pints, so it's a half cup of milk for one. Oh, Kimberly, I'm glad you love my videos and I was able to teach you something, baby. Yes, I'm, I'm glad to share anything and help anybody. Whatever your heart desire. Because Tupper never stay wrong, baby. Boom! <laughs> Milk in there, y'all. I'm gonna add that cinnamon and sugar, mix it up. And I put about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon in here. Half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. You, you adjust it how you want to if you decide to try it. And then I probably put about three tablespoons of sugar. Because it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Sugar back off in now. Check my pork chops again. And we're going to smother these bad boys. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. He's ready. And take these pork chops out here. Brown into perfection. Y'all see these chops, baby? 
Y'all see them chops? And I'm going to smother them down, baby. On time I eat fried pork chops without smothering is when I want a fried pork chop sound for some reason. I'm just funny like that when it comes to my pork chops. Now I'm finna pull this grease out of here and leave my drippings because we finna get that gravy going. Y'all look at that, I left the drippings in my pot. Cause that's how we're gonna make this a gravy. And then when you making your gravy, use hot water. If you don't wanna use water, you can use some uh, chicken broth or some beef broth to make the gravy to give it more flavor. But I always just use water cause I get all my drippings. I add all my seasons and stuff so I really don't be needing it. But uh, we got some bell pepper and onion going off in here. I'm also going to put a little thyme and a bay leaf in my um, in my gravy, y'all. We're going to fry this down a little bit. Yes, y'all. 
So I'm just browning this down. I'm gonna add some hot, slow pour and some hot water. It gotta be hot. Don't use no cold product on your gravy. Even your broth, you better sit it at room temperature. Okay. Pour the water in and stir with this cup right here. Yes, y'all, y'all see I'm focused. I'm focused. Focus on the tail pot, child. I'm gonna look back up and read in a minute. But I gotta get this here. Alright. Oh yeah. Good old, good old, good old gravy, y'all. Good old, good old, good gravy. Ow, 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 yes. Yes. Get some more. Get it all together, baby. And I like to put a little margarine or butter in my gravy when I turn it down to simmer because it's just something about that butter when you add it, just bring it more and give it more savoriness or something. I can't even explain it, but it's just so dang, dang on good, y'all. So good, so good. I know that's right. You followed it and got it right, baby. Because gravy, believe it or not, making gravy is not as easy as it seems. Some people think it is, but it ain't. It ain't. Trust. It ain't. Yes, you got to get that gravy right, baby. That's why I'm slow pouring my water in here because I don't want mine too loose and I don't want it. I want it a little thick, not too thick, but. Okay, y'all, I'm back. It was buffering. I had to wait a minute. So, I just been sitting here, baby, sitting my gravy, just stirring it. I'm going to add me a bay leaf to my gravy. Bay leaf. There go that. I'm going to put a little bit of. I'm put a little bit of thyme in my gravy. Some dry thyme. I get it open. And then I'm going to add some seasoning. Not too much. Just about a little half teaspoon of this dry time, y'all. Damn, that's that. I'm going to add a little black pepper. A little black pepper. Some complete seasoning. Garlic powder and onion powder. Again, we season to y'all take because I don't match nothing. A little bit of salt, y'all. I'm not going to put no toners in my gravy today. Because I put my time in my baby to serve flavor I'm looking for. So I ain't going to put that in, okay? And also, I'm going to add some soy sauce, about two tablespoons of soy sauce to the to gravy. Bam. Yes, sir. Cooking one-on-one, -on -one, some other pork chops, baby. That's what we doing. What I'm cooking tonight. Uh, uh, what I'm cooking tonight. I'm loving this. Now y'all got me on some potatoes. I'm going to pick up some potatoes and do a little bowl of potato salad. Okay, now I'm going to put these pork chops down in the oil. Let me put a little 
but I'm uh but in here. And I got pure butter, y'all. Pure butter, not no margarine. Pure butter. We're gonna put two tablespoons of this pure uh butter in here. Two tablespoons to bring this pull out pull like that savoriness of this gravy, y'all. Yes, two tablespoons. Bam. Okay, so we got this here going. We got this here going, baby. Oh, I'm shaking the camera, yeah. Okay. And also, I'm finna add me three uh green onions to my gravy, y'all. And remember, I already put white onions in uh and uh, bell pepper in now. Now I'm gonna add the green onions. Chop them up. chops in here and then turn it down and let it simmer baby y'all want to see what the gravy look like now what is looking like baby wait a minute let me stir my ingredients up in here and i'm gonna pull this pan so you can see what this gravy look like yes y'all see what that gravy working with bring the camera down y'all see that gravy y'all see it let me turn it down Y'all see that gravy? Good color and all. Yes, baby. That's what that gravy be by. Now I'm gonna put the pork chops down in here, y'all. The pork chops gonna make it do what it do too. Y'all see this. I'm gonna get all of them coated too. I don't wanna add no more stuff to it. Now I'm gonna put the lid on it and let them come smother down, baby. Y'all see it now? Look at that. Look at that. Y'all see it. Y'all see it, baby. Tip ain't no joke. It's real in the field. Now, turn down on three. Let that simmer and marinate, baby. Now I got to finish this up. Uh, get my bread in the oven. Up a little mess here. 
Okay, so we got that working, got that rice working, the cabbage already live and the macaroni already live, full of fat, y'all. Okay. I got my pan here that's already been washed. I'm going to spray it with some non-stick bacon spray. And mix that, uh, you know, I already put the stuff in the bread. Just got to mix it up and get it in the oven. Bam. Okay. Oh, my bread mix right here, y'all. I got to mix it up. It's right here. Wait a minute. So again, to my muffin mix, I added sugar and cinnamon and a cup of milk to two pipes of that old mock white blueberry mix, y'all. Yes. And we're just going to, I ain't putting them in no muffin pan, nothing. We're going to bake it off like uh, cornbread. Y'all want to see me make some lasagna? I can do that. Everybody, them thumbs up. That's what's up, baby. This is my month, my bread mix, baby. Get that stirred up real, real good. Oven on 400. Bake it for about 15, 20 minutes. Golden brown, baby. We got action. We got action. And you know what's also good with this too, y'all? If you want to pick up some fresh blueberries and drop off in here, and it gives that extra, uh, extra punch, like, whoa. And that's what you call semi homemade. Hey! And that first one. My bad, people, I had a phone call. My nephew telling me he's still coming to over, so. Yeah, but I got that all mixed up good. I'm gonna put it in this pan and put it in that oven, baby. Yes, I probably should have got me this. So it could be a high rise on it, but it'll be okay. I'm glad you enjoyed watching me, Melanie Joy, too. And it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. So I'm getting this bread off. Carlinda, hey! Spread my bread in this here pan, y'all. I don't mind you ask the babe. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Straight up out of Duval. <laughs> oh, Miss Reed, what's on my menu? Blueberry, uh, muffin bread, macaroni and cheese, smother pork chops, cabbage with that cut up hog dog in it, and some yellow rice. And I'm still going back and forth if I'm going to make some potato salad. Because I would have had my potatoes and stuff cut up by now. So that's what's on the menu, baby, baby. And right now I'm putting that blueberry bread in the oven. There we go. That's it now that's working. So, oh, and I got a few pieces of drumsticks I'm going to fry for my babies because they wanted some chicken soap. I got to do that, too. Um, I should have barbecue. I'm going to put them in the barbecue. I don't know what I want to do with them. I got them thawing. Oh, yeah. I forgot I got some ketamine. Yeah, I think I'm going to put them in the oven and barbecue them. Um, come on to Duval, baby. I'm here. 
And I'm waiting and I'm ready to feed you and get you fed and full, baby. I don't mind. And one thing took a lot of cook. And took a lot of feed, people. Y'all, y'all just don't know. It'd be my joy to see people sit back and eat my food and enjoy it. That warms my heart, like, to the fullest, y'all. Like, straight up. Yes. So, er, uh, let me get this out of the way. That's why I'm sitting here doing what I'm doing now. This is all for y'all, baby. Yeah, it's hot as I don't know what, but the breeze blowing today, but it is hot down here. I want a food truck, y'all. I really do. I sure do. Um, once I get me a little change to get one, baby. Oh, it's gonna come. It's gonna come. But I'm I'm back and forth on if I get a food truck, what I'ma cook. I kinda wanna do the soul food. But then sometimes my mind be going to another route. At one point I was like, I'm gonna have a food truck that's all about nachos and tacos, baby. And if that you think of gonna be on them nachos and tacos, you know, but then it's like people know me for my like my uh down south cooking, so I'd be back and forth. Maybe I just have different specials on the truck and just stick to a, a menu of the soul food and stuff. Yes, Kelly B. I've been doing my thing. I try to, child. Yes. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, y'all. Right now, I got me like five drumsticks. I'm gonna season up and bake them off in the oven and put some barbecue sauce on them, baby. Yes. Checking up on my pork chops here. And they looking great, y'all. These mother pork chops, baby. Put these on low. They ready to go on low and just cover them and simmer them until you ready to dive in them. Yes. Again, this is what the pork chops be about, baby. Wait, bring that down. Y'all see that? Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Pork chops, smoked pork chops, baby. All the way live. Let me let them finish simmering. I got it between two and one for that. Now I'm finna season up my little, done washed and clean these little drumsticks right here, baby. I'm finna season them up, put them in that, wrap them up, put them in that oven, and put some barbecue sauce on them, baby. Yeah, sure. So, I'ma start my 
seasoning on drumsticks with my mustard base. Yes, yes. A little mustard. And where's my hot sauce? And some hot sauce. This is my marinade, hot sauce and mustard, baby. On all my meats. Pretty much chicken, pork, you know. Little baby. Now Get on cooking with Till Page and you watch me step by step and stop playing with that gravy girl. Cause before this year out, you gonna know how to make that gravy. Yeah, girl. KW, mustard and hot sauce is a marinade for pork chops and chicken. Yes, yeah, so you put that on there and you add your seasoning, which I'm put garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and uh wait, 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 wait. Oh, I forgot. I used it all earlier when I did my pork chops. Y'all, I'm out of tortoise. I used it on my pork chops, so I'm going to use. I can't use no tortoise. It'll mess my mind up. Complete seasoning, powder, onion powder, black pepper. And I guess I'm going to have to do a little seasoning sauce since I ain't got my tortoise to go on now. That kind of just messed my mind up. I forgot I seasoned them pork chops earlier and ran out. And I don't run out of tones now. Y'all know. And I went to the grocery store yesterday. I went in the store. Got everything I needed. But I didn't buy no seasoning, y'all. And I was like, I got home. I was like, wait a minute. I'm missing a Then I had to think, girl, you ain't even going on that aisle. I was kind of upset. But I'm going to make it do what it do. Make it do what it do, baby. So, yeah, let me season these up so I can get them in the oven. So again, that's that complete seasoning, that hot sauce, that uh, mustard, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and a little seasoning salt is what I'm putting on these drumsticks, okay? None, none too high, none too high, baby. You welcome, KW, baby. Yeah, that's my little mustard. Thank you for doing that, Kelly. My pork chops are great, baby. I told you. One thing about cooking with tilt, I never stir you wrong, baby. Never stir you wrong. And I'm glad you tried it. Thank you. Okay. So I'm just mixing this seasoning up on this little chicken, y'all. I did I put the seasoning on here mix that bad boy up and now I'm gonna put some foil on it and put it in the oven and bake them for about 45 to 45 minutes to an hour because I want mine with tender and then I'm gonna add some barbecue sauce I'm not gonna make no homemade barbecue sauce um I'm just gonna put my barbecue sauce I have in the cabinet here this right chill y'all this academy uh Kansas City classic Baby, when I tell you this is off the chain, woo! Oh, it's something serious, baby. It's something serious. So, yeah, let me get this foil on here. God, I'm cooking it with the foil, but when I start basting, my, basting that barbecue sauce on here, I'm going to have it on top of it then, but I'm going to cook it fully with the foil on it for about 45 minutes. Then I'm going to start basting it with the barbecue sauce and cook it for just 15 minutes so they get sticky and good and good. Yeah. Throw some brown sugar in what? Why I'm throw the brown sugar in? In the, in the bread? What the brown sugar going in, y'all? I got one. I need to look. I got the silly fan up there, and I still be hot. Let me turn my bread so I can put this chicken in here. Okay, that's that. So I really want 
try to do some potato salad, y'all. Oh, that barbecue sauce, put a little brown sugar in it, y'all. Oh, that can't sit a classic out of chain. I don't know if I want to mess with it, y'all, because it's already good. Yes. Stack my stuff back over here, right? On my shelf back there. Okay. I was looking at something, y'all, my bed. <laughs> In case I decide to do this here, do that uh potato salad. But I really don't want to. I might say the potato salad next Sunday, y'all. Ah, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I I can't even fade to do the salad today. I'm ready to get out this kitchen, y'all. I just don't feel like cutting no potatoes to be honest. But it is what it is. We'll get back. We'll get that potato salad next week. Pop it for you. <laughs> Cause let the come on now. Feel like that potato salad, man. Don't do me like that. Please don't do me like that. You making it hard on me. You making it hard on me. Why? Tell me why. Woo! You know I got some sweet relish up here. If I do a lure, you ain't gonna let me get away, huh? Nah, Carolina, I gotta save that potato salad for next week. Cause y'all know next Sunday is Mother's Day, so I gotta keep something in store. I'm gonna save that potato salad for then. Y'all know, I don't know what meat I'm gonna do yet for uh, Mother's Day. I really don't know my menu yet. But. Like I say, if my nephew get over here and film for y'all come and film, I'ma uh shoot y'all a little uh oyster dressing recipe if y'all wanna try that for Mother's Day. So that's an oyster dressing. Y'all can try it for Mother's Day. I'm trying to get my turn this around a little bit. Okay, I don't wanna rotate. And I'm over here trying to wash the wash my uh bowl out and stuff. Now the season's going up, y'all. So this is a wrap for me for right now, baby. Until next time. If we will do that potato salad. I can't fade it. Y'all give me some more. What kind of other side dishes to be have pill box? Kalinda, I gotta get one. I supposed to been got one, but like I say, I just be cooking from my heart. Everybody been trying to get me to do the pill box, and I tell y'all what, Friday coming, so that's Friday. I will make it my business to go get a pill box. This week I will make it my business to do the other uh screen chat, uh snap whatever chat y'all told me to do. Um. Y'all also know I got my, uh, what else they asked me about? I got dollar sign cooking with tilt for my, um, what it's called? I can't even think right now. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, got a lot of stuff coming. A lot of stuff working. Cut this water out. Right, Mike. Y'all remember that Mike cheese? It's right, sure. Okay. I got bread. Let me check my bread. Let me rotate it. There you go. And y'all seen I did that with no gloves on. That's how you know I've been cooking for a while. <laughs> that heat ain't even bothering me like that, boo. Yes. Ooh, we y'all. Come back and look at the hip hop chop again. Y'all see it. Look at that. Y'all see it. They working. They working. They working. They working. And they working. Yes, baby. Got them on low right there. Got the yellow rice. We got the yellow 
rice, y'all. The yellow rice. Again, the cabbage, y'all. The cabbage with the cut up hog jaws and carrots off in it, baby. Oh, we gonna eat good today. And let me let y'all peek at this macaroni again. Just cause. Yes, baby. Look at that mac and cheese, y'all. Look at that. Look at that, baby. That's what you want. Look at that. Yeah. Now I just got to finish them chicken out of that chicken. And my bread come out of it. I'll show y'all the bread. And, uh. Yeah, baby. Better know it. Thank you. I know I'm doing my magic. <laughs> yes. This is what I do. This is what I love to do. So, yes. Everything is on low up here. Then again, my bread finna get ready to come out. I'm gonna show y'all that bread. But then I'm gonna end the video, y'all. And I'll start up later when my little cup to come over and we decide to eat and stuff. I bring y'all in my world so y'all can see what they say, what this food be about. And that's what's gonna be what's great today. Okay. Inbox you. I gotcha. Check the bread again, cause uh, I think I made it fall a little bit. It'd be okay. I turned it, and I think I made it fall a little bit. But guess what? We're gonna cut it up and eat it, baby. What time? I got cash out. Yes, I have cash out. My cash out is dollar sign cooking with tip. Boom. Ain't no boom on it though. I was just saying boom, but it's dollar sign cooking with tilt. That's my cash out. Black Widow, I love you. Bye. Because I'm so awesome. Awesome, Bossa. Yes. <laughs> yes, y'all. I'm having me a ball. Yep, dollar sign. Kalinda, you are so right. Kalinda. Where's my pen? Okay. I'm about to find me an ink pen. I had one somewhere. I get it in a minute. Yes! Carlinda can cook, baby. I got you, boy. I'm going to inbox you. Yes. Mariah, yes. That's dollar sign cooking with tip. I got y'all. I thank y'all for watching me today and uh, enjoying me because y'all know I'm just a straight up clown. But it's from my heart. And it's just me. Every day, all day. I send in my friends. I send in my family. I try to be this way too because I ain't going to lie now. If the person take me out of character, I turn into something. Ooh. But we ain't going to talk about that because this is me all day right here. Yes. I keep trying to check my bread. It's almost ready too. And I'm going to put some of that butt on top, baby. Boom. Pure butter. Hey, buddy. Well, actually, I'm going to put a little margin on my bread, y'all. Yes, a little margin on the bread. I need to go water. So, it's been great. I'm having a wonderful Sunday. And I hope all y'all staying safe from this coronavirus and uh, doing all the extra precautions because it is real. Y'all got to stay woke. Because, uh, like I always say, they pretty good me got their hands on this baby. And it's all man-made. And they the ones trying to regulate us and stuff. And, yeah, that's what it be about. And don't let them fool y'all with this little money they throwing out to people. That's just a diversion to keep your mind off of what's really going on. Don't fall for it, y'all. Don't fall for it. Stay woke, baby. Stay woke. Because I am. I'm staying woke. I ain't trying to chase down no 1200. I ain't trying to do none of that. Because I feel like it's going to be something behind it. And also, 
Y'all saw that idiot talking about what Jack self with some dog on disinfectants. Who the who the who? I ain't even gonna speak on that because I don't get into politics, man. But that he crazy. And have y'all gotten them texts and them one eight hundred phone calls uh, talking about the COVID nineteen shot and you need to go take? No, nah, they trying to they they trying to get us. Don't y'all fall for it. Don't y'all stop for it. Just do the extra precautions. Stay safe. Wash your hands. How you disinfected and try to stay your distance from people and mainly be at home. Do what you gotta do and go home. You know. But don't fall for what they got for us. No weapons, against, no weapons formed against us shall prosper. You understand? Stay woke, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. Stay on that front line and know what's going on. And what a good, y'all. They trying to trick us up this money stuff. And it's crazy. This That crazy. Woo! I'm getting into politics. Baby, he got to go. Yes, people, stay safe. Stay safe, y'all. Uh, uh, just stay woke and stay safe. Protect your own. Protect yourself. What I'm talking about, there's no antidote protection from this virus. They don't... Let me tell you something. If they made it to infect us, they got antidote for it. Don't let them fool you. Open your eyes, baby. It's a cure, it's a cure. Okay, just like all the years they said it wasn't a cure for AIDS, but now they're saying this one. Come on, man. Stay woke. I'm trying to tell you. Don't let them tell you no anything. So this just fell from this virus, just fell from the sky. If they made it, the herders, they gotta they gotta end up for they're trying to regulate us. Stay woke, baby. I don't get into parties though, so I'm just get off that subject. I just hope that everybody stay prayed up. Uh, whoever your how power, higher power is, uh, stay prayed up. Protect you, yourself, your family. Do all the extra precautions. Wash your hands. Uh, sanitize everything. Try to stay mainly indoors. Go out and do what you need to do and go back home. You know, and just respect everybody's space. And I'm going to leave that topic alone. I'm going to leave it alone because I feel some type of way. And ain't no way they're going to, yeah. We're going to leave that alone. We're going to leave that alone. Let me get this bread out of it. Get my bread out of it. Yeah, that's ready, y'all. Y'all see that bread? There go that bread. You see where it sunk in a little bit when I moved it? But guess what? It's all right, baby. Hey, lovely tea. Now I'm just rubbing some margarine. On top of this, and I'm gonna coat it real well, make it real, real buttery, baby. Little margin ain't gonna hurt. Cause see, when I use my pure butter, I like to use it for certain things. This margin will be okay on this here bread. It's gonna be very good, y'all. So when my company come over to eat today, y'all, I'm gonna be back at y'all so they can tell y'all what this meal be about. And that's, that's, that's what's up. Oh, no, ain't nobody gonna run my blood pressure up. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. It's real in the film, but this is what I'm supposed to be talking about, my cooking anyway. I'm gonna stay and leave them politics stuff alone. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, boom, y'all. Let's go to blueberry bread. Boom. It sunk in the middle when I turned it. I had slab of dough, but it's still great. Okay. Where's my foil? Let me wrap this here up. What would I do if I... Oh, guess what? They order that if I spit all day cooking and they order pizza. That's gonna be like an insult to me. So you know what I do with that pizza? I'm gonna chunk it in the garbage and make them sit down and eat my food that I slayed down. That's what I that's what I would do. Ain't no way in the world I slave in the kitchen and then 
They order some pizza. I'm going to chunk that pizza right in the garbage. That's what I'm going to do. Because they tried it. They tried it. That's what I'm going to do straight up. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. And some people do that and let them get away with it. But guess what? That piece will go right in the garbage, man. So it's tilt. Yes. Chunk it in the garbage. That's what I said. Uh-huh. That serious, too. That serious. I mean, tell I come do all my hard work and I know my stuff on point. And you call it a piece of... The devil is a lie. Woo! Not when my pot's done rattled. Mmm. They better get it. They, they better get their mind right. That's what they better do because they don't know. Oh, they will know once I chunk it in the garbage. Hmm. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a mess, but I'm getting it to you blood raw, baby. Yes! <laughs> yes, baby. The devil is a lie. Mm. I don't know what they thought they heard. Now, mind what they thought they knew, but they're going to know the real school by me. Try me like that if you want to. Yeah, well, it'll be the last time they order some pizza. They ain't even going to know the number two dial to order a pizza. Huh. Messing with me. They, <laughs> hey, baby. I wish my sister was still here. She'll tell you, she ain't lying. Either she ain't lying. Oh, them pork shots gonna be good, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now, I'm great. I'm just waiting on the chicken. But again, once I start my feasting, feeding, folks, I'll be back. Y'all keep looking for tip today, baby. Yes, they won't try me in that now one of them. They better know ain't nothing like this cooking right here, this real cooking. That old school cooking. They better know it. Some pizza. I wish I man, I wish they might. Woo! Now y'all. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, they'll draw back a nub. Okay, y'all. So it's been real, it's been fun. Again, once I serve food and stuff, I'll come back with y'all with part three. Right now we're on part two. I'll be back with part three today. And I'll holler. Love y'all. Take it easy. Y'all going. I hope y'all having a wonderful Sunday meal. Um, RD, I need some little love in the house. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> I know it, right? Don't go nowhere. But, yeah, I'll be back later, y'all, when we start having dinner. And I felt retarded with my hand. I'm looking at my hand. I look retarded. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a nutcase. But anyhow, when we go to eat, and I'll be back with y'all so they can tell y'all what this food be by. I love y'all. I'll see y'all a little later. Boom!